Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this uh, in this tutorial video, we will learn how to generate FM mo frequency modulated signal on Simulink. So, open MATLAB. In MATLAB, open Simulink by typing the command Simulink. This will open a new window. Create new model. Save the model by any name for say FM modulation okay let's save it as a specific location FM modulation at desktop save it now as we discussed in our earlier videos uh, for creating FM modulation we just need to uh, create the per, uh, select the particular block so in this search item uh, the search box in the symlink library browser search FM and select FM modulator passband this is the FM modulator uh, through which we will select the carrier frequency and various other parameters for modulating the sine wave code, for simulating the sine wave uh, for simulating the FM modulation we need to select a source so we will select a sine wave as a message source and we need to display the result so we will select a scope from here so we will simply interconnect the various uh, points of these blocks now it comes to the uh, uh, to uh, put the various to uh, select the various properties of these blocks like for sine wave uh, amplitude is 1 we will select the frequency as 2 hertz and sample rate we will take for uh, good uh, resolution of the graph we will take sample rate at 0 0.001 and then ok apply and then ok now we will change the properties of this FM modulator we will select the carrier frequency as 10 and this frequency deviation needs to be greater than that of the uh, input message signal so we will take uh, frequency deviation, deviation as 5 and then apply and then ok now run the simulation from this button Uh, this is the general problem which you have encountered several times so the possible ways of solving it go to parameters and then in history and deselect limit data points to last apply and then ok and let's rerun the model so this is our FM generated wave using Simlink for better uh, presentation we will we can also put the input message signal or we can also display the input message signal on the same plot for displaying the same input message signal we need to select a multiplexer so multiplexer we will get from commonly used blocks and mux Here is a mux and connect the corresponding points and rerun the same so if you are able to see this uh, pink color uh, pink color line this represents the message signal and this yellow color wave represents the corresponding FM wave so it is very evident as the amplitude is maximum the frequency is highest and as the amplitude is uh, minimum to its uh, uh, negative maximum to the opposite side and the negative side the frequency of the uh, a carrier wave is uh, minimum at the same point so it is clearly indicating uh, the basic concepts of uh, frequency modulation in which the frequency of the carrier wave varies in accordance with the uh, amplitude of the message signal so I hope uh, 
this tutorial video will be useful to understand the basic concepts of uh, frequency modulation you can try various other uh, by changing various other properties uh, of uh, uh, this uh, uh, fm modulator block and you can verify what happens uh, to the uh, final value so that's it for this video